Alright, so welcome to part three here, everybody. And in lesson one here, we're going to go ahead and start our initial facial um, rigging. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use a plugin from Maya called the Face Machine from Ansevin Studios. Now, the Face Machine will allow us to basically rig our face in a way that um, it's sort of like influence curves. And it, it's going to do an absolutely wonderful job. So, um, to go ahead and rig it with the face machine what we need to go ahead and do is just go ahead and bring in our face machine widget and this just takes a little bit of time here and you can see that it brings in what is a template of a of an actual face and we just need to go ahead and place this correctly over the model um, to go ahead and get done here and I'm just going to go ahead and move this off the screen real quick and I'm just going to go ahead and place this properly. Now to set this up and, and place it properly it will just um, take you at least a little bit of time to go ahead and get it correct. Um, but once you understand the, the intricacies of actually placing this um, you're going to see where this is actually going to do a really wonderful job so we'll just need to go ahead and scale it down here a little bit. And looking um, probably about where I want it right now for the most part okay so let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> turn on our widget controls for each level so we'll go ahead and start off here with uh, widget controls level one and now I'm not 100% sure if you can actually see these um, sort of very light blue lines here but these are the initial overall controls that we want to go ahead and place so um, you just sort of have to place them correctly so let's just go ahead and try and get these where we want here okay and you'll notice that whenever I grab these little blue icons that these um, black lines that represent our influence curves here are also moving so the key here isn't necessarily to place it with these light blue lines but you want to make sure that you get the um, the influence curves pretty much lined up the way that you want here so we'll just go ahead and try and get these influence curves where I want them okay maybe rotate this a little bit here go ahead and drug in the nose here You can also scale it in um, pretty much any direction that you want here. So I'm just scaling there in the Z axis. Okay. We'll go ahead and take our mouth control here. Move it down. Definitely going to have to scale this out in the X direction. Um, also in the Z axis here. And I'm just trying to basically get those influence curves to. Um, pretty much line up right on top of the the overall mesh here okay go ahead and do our chin and I'm also going to grab our neck widget here if I can select it okay just go ahead and pull those down real quick okay take our chin go ahead and just move that real quick scale that out and in just so I can get that face machine widget to be placed here okay go ahead and place our neck where it would be since we don't necessarily have a neck in, on our character um, our neck really isn't the the actual stem this is definitely going to have to go back here just a little bit more okay so with that initial um, rigging setup placed what I want to go ahead and do now is turn off our widget level <coughs> widget controls for level one 
and I'll go ahead and bring in our widget controls for level 2 and you can see that this is a much more detail oriented um, rig placement so let's go ahead and start manipulating some of these as well and I'm just going to go ahead and move that off the screen here now what I first want to do is go ahead and bring back our eye control here go ahead, go ahead and turn off my facial geometry real quick and you're going to see where if I can go ahead and template that real quick our eyes also have a pivot here but our eye rigging um, really depends on the actual eye pivot placement and you're going to see whenever I start rotating this okay just go ahead and turn back on our reference layer there for our eyes go ahead and place this you can see where our um, eye shape sort of will pivot whenever I move this I'm not 100% sure if you guys can see that um, because it's highlighted but it does move okay so just making sure that I've snapped that to the um, back of the eye here I can now go ahead and really um, set up the eye control here so we'll go ahead and bring back our facial geometry okay go ahead and take the corner of our eye and we'll just go ahead and basically put this back where we want in here okay take our brow control we're just gonna move this up a little bit here and back a little bit okay we'll also take the middle of the forehead control here and basically move it down here trying to get it um, right on the bridge of the nose here take our nose and we'll go ahead and scale this down a little bit okay take our under eye control here and we'll go ahead and just bring this down to um, there should be good we'll go ahead and apply our cheekbone here okay it's gonna hit four on my keyboard because I need to see exactly what I'm doing here okay go ahead and take our under eye just try and line this up properly take our um, our outer eye here and just try to place it on the corner of our eye and I just need to go ahead and scale this up a little bit here okay take our over eye here and place it there take our upper lid here Go ahead and scale this up a little bit. And the over eye here can probably go to the right just a little bit. Our brow control can go up a little bit here. We'll take our outer orbital, which is going to be for your orbital bone here. Take our under nose control and just bring this out a little bit. Okay, we'll take our nasal labial fold if I can go ahead and grab it here. Or what would be our nostril? And you can scale that in. Since he doesn't necessarily have a nose, but I'm gonna want that geometry to to really be moving there. Okay, we'll take our lip controls, we'll go ahead and just move these in here. take that nostril and we'll just basically pull that out a little bit there take our upper lip crest control here okay also take the corner of our mouth here and just snap it our bottom lip okay our bottom lip crest our under lip control here also take our chin and doing it on one side you'll notice that they also mirror to the other side so um, 
that allow us just simply to place one side here. So let's go ahead and grab our cheek fold and our cheek control. We'll go ahead and just pull these out real quick. Also, going to go ahead and grab our mouth sack here. Uh, so, I have to go on the inside of the model here and try and pr place this properly. You want to maintain and try to get those um, influence curves to be as close to the actual mesh that you can. This way, that your your weights are going to set up properly. So, let's go ahead and just continue the actual placement here. Let me go ahead and turn off our pedals real quick. And we'll grab our jaw anchor here. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab our cheek control here. Go ahead and just move this up if we want. I'm not necessarily going to worry about the, the teeth here. Um, you can go ahead and just scale that down if you want and basically place it as, as you want. But since I'm not really going to um, parent our teeth to that, <coughs> I'm not going to go ahead and worry too much about the actual setup on that. So those brow controls look fine. And that looks good. Okay, so that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so now what I want to go ahead and do is bring in our um, geometry here which is underneath of this and how the the actual face machine works so what I want to go ahead and do is bring in the show face control placement just to see where our our actual rig is going to line up here but I also want to go ahead and bring in our geometry here so I can see exactly um, what's what so we'll go ahead and turn off our facial control placement real quick go ahead and bring in our skull and nose controls and you can see where it brings in geometry okay so let's go ahead and scale in our skull real quick These are going to be our cheek controls. Okay, so we want to go ahead and just scale those out a little bit. Okay. Bring in our lower lip control here. Go ahead and scale that up if you want. Okay. And I just want to take a look at our let's go on those controls here okay so that looks fine to me okay so we can go ahead and turn those off okay we'll go ahead and hit five on our keyboard and just show our facial control placement once again now this is the chance to sort of make sure that everything is lining up um, a hundred percent properly so if you want, you know, you don't necessarily have a, a control placement that you're you're happy with, you can go ahead and adjust some of this stuff and, and basically get it to where you, where you really, really want it. And so let's go ahead and just maybe add a little bit more control here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and probably scale this up a little bit as well. Go ahead and push that back a little bit. Do the same thing here for the um, upper eyelid control. Okay, and that looks fine. 
So at this point what I want to go ahead and do as long as you own the face machine you can go ahead and save the scene here um, <clears throat> and then if if you have to to basically make adjustments to it you can go ahead and do that um, after you've gone and defined all of your objects so let's go ahead and save our scene here and we'll just call this our TFM placed so we'll just go ahead and replace this I'm actually going to name this as 2, so we'll go ahead and save this. Okay, and now we, what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and actually rig our face. So the first thing that we need to go ahead and do is we need to define the meshes here. So we have to take our face geometry, define it, um, define it as our facial mesh. Okay, take our left eye, and before I go ahead and do that, let me just go ahead and place our pupil control real quick okay go ahead and take our left eye define that as the left eye object go ahead and take our right eye define that as our right eye object now you can also do the teeth um, if you have a tongue like we do you can also go ahead and do that but I'm not going to do that because we've already pre-rigged our um, our tongue and we're just simply going to parent our teeth to the overall control rig here so with all those meshes defined let's go ahead and rig our face machine and this will just take a um, depending on how complex your geometry is it shouldn't take too long to go ahead and set up here and you'll just see that this is going to calculate through real quick and so that's calculated through so let's just jump back into our perspective view here and you can see where the initial rigging does a, a pretty solid job here. We'll just need to go ahead and start painting some of our weights. And I just want to go ahead and walk through all these controls just to make sure that everything is basically set up the way that I want here. Okay. Testing our under eye control here. Let's check our nose. Check our lips. these all look pretty good here okay so and you can see that we have this little control box here we can just go ahead and turn that off okay so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back here and we'll start pinning the the weights for our face machine